I'm Judy Hackett and I own the Garden Terrace Bistro in Wanakee, Wisconsin. Today we started with our cream cheese cinnamon streusel coffee cake. It's a cream cheese base and uh, it starts out by pureeing or creaming butter and sugar. We add some eggs and some flavoring and some milk. Then we uh, put our dry ingredients in, get it all whipped up. It's a very thick, rich batter and we scale it into two pans and in the middle we put a lovely streusel and on top we top it with more streusel and then it gets a coating or a sprinkling of a lovely little drizzle. Then we moved on to French toast. It's just made of ciabatta bread with uh, eggs, cream, sugar, vanilla, a little bit of salt. Mix it all up, let it soak, cook it in butter on the grill, and serve it up with a little powdered sugar and, and syrup. We got the French toast all ready to go, and uh, then it was time to get the chili cooking. The chili that I made today, I am hoping I'm going to enter in a contest this weekend. But we make chili here, we make our own soups. On a daily basis, we're making soup or chili or something for our lunch crowd. And the chili is very simple. It's ground beef, it's onions, it's celery, it's V8 juice, that's our big secret. It's uh, tomato paste and tomatoes and beans, lots of different types of beans, and lime juice. The big secret is the lime juice that we put in at the end. And then we uh, made the biscotti, which is sitting right here. We make biscotti here, 14 or 15 different varieties off and on. Today I made almond biscotti. Pretty basic, pretty simple. But I want to make cheesecake tomorrow, so almond biscotti it was. And tomorrow we'll make a lovely cheesecake with the almond biscotti for our crust. Biscotti is a very simple, easy cookie to make. It's just simply whipping up a very thick batter, rolling it into a log, baking it in the oven at 325 degrees for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what size you choose to make your cookies. When they come out of the oven, you let them cool for a few minutes, you slice them up into cookies, you put them back on the tray, and you put them back into a lower temperature oven for a few minutes and let them crisp up and dry out. It's butter, sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, eggs, usually nuts, sometimes chocolate chips, sometimes espresso beans, sometimes coconut, sometimes white macadamia nuts, sometimes cranberries. We get crazy. We have more than coffee. We have all kinds of beverages. If there's a type of beverage that people drink, we make it. Whether it's coffee, smoothies, frozen drinks, liquor drinks, uh, spirits, wine, beer, and we have a lot of microbrews. We have about 12 microbrews waiting for you to come and taste. And we welcome you all to come down and try it all. I grind fresh coffee that we roast ourselves, so we have good smells and good food for our morning commuters. We get everything ship shaped so that we can make lunch in a hurry because we have people who have a limited amount of time and we want to feed them rapidly. And now the music. Friday and Saturday nights we are planning on scheduling live music for everybody to enjoy. We bring in musicians from the area who are fun. It's all about the fun. Come on down and check us out.